Well, hi there, it's Sandy Alnock, and I have three new charts for you today. And even if you're a Copic user without wanting to do sketch markers, there's one of these that you might want, and that's a free one. But I do have some new ones to share with you and how you can use them. I wanted to get these charts out there specifically for this weekend because of the Color for Ukraine fundraiser that's going on August 6th and 7th, 2022. Don't worry if you're hearing that. I am not going to be talking about that fundraiser throughout this video. I'm talking about the charts, but I wanted them out there in case you're shopping this weekend and you need some help picking colors. So that's why I wanted to make sure I get these charts out for you. Two are free. One is not, but the one that is not is a fundraiser this weekend also. So first, the blending groups chart. This one is free and I have one for Copic. That's one of my most downloaded free charts. And what I've done is convert the basically the same thing into sketch marker. And I put together blending groups for the full rainbow. So you at least have one blending group for each color. Don't worry about getting every single one. This is not like a buy all the, the markers kind of thing. But if you're doing flowers, just pick some pinks and yellows. If you're doing, you know, boxes, then go for the oranges and some browns. Depends on what you're going to color. But now it's available in both Copic and in Sketch Marker. And what I provide for you is a number of things in just one jam-packed handout. First is the rainbow colors. So each one is a blending group. And a blending group is something a lot of people don't talk about or know about. But if you look at the number designation, there's a color family for each one. There's a number or pair of numbers in the middle and a value at the end. The value is the light and darkness. So a low number in sketch marker is dark and a high number is light. And it's opposite of what Copic is. If you're used to using those, complete 180 opposite of that. And then a blending group uses all three of these because the, the group is those numbers in the middle. And if you choose the letter and the numbers in the middle being the same, and then jump to something else for the value, light and dark, then you'll be able to pick some colors. And that's how I chose the ones that are in the graphic here. The browns, the neutrals that are over here, I've included some other things just for fun. I put a purple in there. I love to shade with purples when I'm doing skin tones. Or you can pick the same two color sets. Just change out one of the colors. Change a reddish brown for a brownish brown. And you'll end up with a different ratio of colors. Use more of, a, of one color or another in the mix. And you can change those up in all kinds of ways. Next chart is the conversion chart. This one is also free. And I thought this would be really helpful for those who are trying to use sketch marker tutorials in Copic markers or Copic tutorials in sketch markers. So the charts that you get, there's a bunch of pages to it, and you'll be able to sort them and, and see them sorted already. You're not doing the sorting yourself by Copic numbers or by sketch marker numbers. So I basically did the same charts two different orders. Thank you to Excel for having a spreadsheet that will just turn the order around for me and did little samples of each one so that you'll be able to see whether one is a little bit darker, a little bit lighter than the other. I'm going to warn you right now that the scanner that I used for these three charts is off. So the color is not quite right. If you sign up for the email list on the r-classes.com website, when I get a new scanner and get these redone, then I'll just email everybody and say the charts are updated. So you can just go to your account and re-download it. You don't have to pay for anything again. Well, these are free anyway, but you'll be able to get an updated version that has better color in it. But for right now, the color numbers will still work for you and you'll be able to see in general some of the colors, but a little bit of it got blown out. So who on you little scanner for doing a bad job of scanning these, but you'll be able to sort through them and, and just run down the numbers and letters with your finger and find the one in the other brand that works. And that's what I thought would be most helpful to people. 
If you do have ideas for how you would use a conversion chart like this, then leave them in the comments. I would love to know what your thoughts are and how you'd use this. I'm thinking you could take something like a Copic Jumpstart class or any of my Copic classes in sketch markers and just have this chart on hand. And I would recommend circling the colors that you have. Just highlight them or circle them so that you know immediately when you look at the chart what's available to you to use. The last one is the sketch marker hex chart. And again, if you've used my other hex charts and have ideas on how you use them, what you use them for, leave those in the comments so the sketch marker folks coming to this video can read through the comments too and see how they might use a chart like this. The order on this chart is visual order. It's not numerical, so I'm not trying to be a respecter of the V's and the R's. If you're a pink, you go in that section. If you're a blue, even if you're a blue-green and you're labeled as a green, then you're going to go in that section. So I'm trying to put them in an order where you can find groups of like colors and trying to put the darks together with the lights. Some of them I did not get perfect yet. This is a chart that's still going to be in progress. I'm going to have to update it anyway because of the same scanning issue that I mentioned earlier. And when I do that, I am going to be moving some of these colors to slightly just a few hexagons over so that this works better. Just really crazy about trying to get this perfect. But I decided that perfect is the enemy of the good because this chart is still going to be super helpful for choosing what colors you want to buy as well as what colors you want to use. And you'll be able to get the update for free when I notify the art-classes.com email list when I get a new scanner. So let's hope I, I get a new scanner in the near future and get those updates made. So the sped up section right here that I'm doing is the BG family. And in my head, I have to stop saying blue green because that's what it is in Copic, but in a sketch marker, it's a blue gray. And they're desaturated colors, but they're not all blues or greenish kind of colors. There's some that are bluish, some that are greenish, some that are purplish, some that are warmer, some that are cooler. And I tried all over the place to sneak them into the other colors. And some of them just didn't work that way. So they had to have special little sections for themselves. And that's what I'm coloring in here. So you can look for those when you're trying to color in the chart. If you have some BGs, that's kind of the closest place I could figure that they belonged. And trying to make these decisions about value versus saturation when I'm doing one of these charts is probably the biggest nightmare. Because at one moment I look at it and I prioritize value. I need to just look for all the darks first. And then I color it and the colors next to each other, one makes another look lighter or look darker by comparison or look grayer or look more saturated because of what it's next to. It's that color relationship between colors that's really difficult to make a chart that's perfect. Once I buy a new scanner and get these charts scanned again and get the colors moved around to their final resting places. I'm staring at a few of them saying, no, you belong over there and you belong over there. But when I get that work done and update the chart, all you'll have to do if you've already purchased this is go to your account and re-download it. And if you need more downloads, just email and let me know. And how will you know about it? You will sign on to the art-classes.com email list where I send out periodic updates. And I don't even want to say monthly because sometimes I don't remember for two or three months at a time. So don't worry, you'll get spammed. But I will send out notices when things like updates happen. And I have an update email that's going to be going out later on this week about a few things. So that is the main chart. There's always a second page that has the grays on it because you don't tend to need the grays out in front of you. Sketch Marker has more gray options than do other brands. I guess they like their grays. Some of them are more on the greenish side at the bottom, more bluish at the top. And I still recommend just cools and warms. It's any tutorials or classes you follow that are Copic, because there's more of them that are out there so far because Copic's an older brand are going to be using warms and cools as opposed to all the neutrals. And they have a simple gray and a green gray and all kinds of stuff. But don't complicate your life. Just get some markers and go play. Go color something. And if you want to join in on the fundraiser, I will have links to all of that as well as these charts in the doobly-doo down below. 
please subscribe if you have not yet already, because YouTube doesn't know that you want to see the catch up of my watermelon video next week that I didn't get to this week. And I'll tell you the story of why that didn't happen when we get to that. But it'll be like maybe Tuesday, Wednesday next week. I'll see you guys later. Bye.